Hello friends and welcome you all back to the channel. Happy to see you all once again with the long awaited video. So today's video is going to be a complete guide on how to play Elendor and a tutorial with advanced tips and tricks. So Elendor is one of the strongest marksmen who is has simple mechanics but a little hard to play but if you get a hang on him then the enemies start hitting you. And uh, friends yarn tutorial is taking some time cause uh, I didn't even figured out how to play him so I'll try to release it soon and now all these things kept aside uh, let's get right into the video each time Elandar hits a target he places a mark on them which can be seen on the top of the targets head shaped like a butterfly at three stacks it will explode and deal additional magic damage to the target whenever Elandar uses his abilities he will unleash a projectile uh, simply put it's a butterfly so if he uses the same ability again then he will be teleported to the butterfly's position whenever he uses his abilities his next normal attack deal additional 35 percentage damage but in real uh, you will do a double attack with 100% for the first attack and the 35% damage for the second attack. So also after using his abilities whenever the butterfly is in the field his movement speed is increased by 30 and will be back to normal when the butterfly disappears. Uh, the movement speed increases uh, 30 right so it will increase uh, based on your level. Here you can see the clear difference between the movement speeds when the butterfly is summoned and retrieved. So when one butterfly is in the field he can't summon another. Okay so he can't summon two butterflies at the same time. But you can use other abilities to deal damage or other purposes. His S1 is a simple dash. He leaves a butterfly behind at the starting point and dashes forward. With this ability, he can jump through the walls too. If you tap this ability again, he will be teleported back to the starting point. When he uses his S2, he will deal uh, magic damage to all the enemies in a circular area around him, which he will deal two times and he will summon the butterfly in a way that uh, it would revolve around him. Among his abilities, the S2 deals the highest damage of them all. His ultimate pushes the enemies away from Elandor, dealing damage and stuns them. The foot butterfly will be summoned in the targeted direction and will slowly move forward. You should know perfectly the range of his ultimate and use it carefully. If the enemy are not in the range, you will miss. Uh, you will happen to miss the ultimate and you will be dead for sure. Now let us see of his uh, enchantments builds and other stuffs. So this is the build uh, you can use for him when you are in the lane. So there is no jungle item you can see that and uh, Gilded Reefs is best for him because uh, there are there is more attack speed in that in this build. So this is very good for you. Uh, you can go also go for Fafnir instead of uh, Blitzblade but Blitzblade will also give you like extra magic damage like that uh, lightning bolt so if you have uh, more critical chances the lightning bolt can crit so the damage will increase immensely so for jungling you can use Scorching Wind uh, or Soul Reaver so for Soul Reaver you it will increases your magic damage dealt and also your damage dealt but uh, if you use the sword scorching wind it will increase your uh, attack speed and it don't attack uh, i mean it won't increase your uh, damages so if you want to increase your magic damage and attack damage you can go for soul reaver and then you can go for like uh, other attack speed equipments to maximize your attack speed uh, make it efficient so now then uh, let's see about the enchantment so for enchantment you can go for Lokheim's uh, curse of death or cursing gaze uh, whatever and for this enchantment uh, the speciality is it will uh, deals additional damage for the third hit so if you attack uh, enemy three times in a row and it will so it will ex explode at three attacks dealing magic damage to the enemy extra so 
uh, with it comes with the uh, enhanced restore and the additional armor ps and ability i mean armor attack damage and ability damage so ability damage is not needed for him uh, so so this is one of the high damage growth enchantments so it will be very good for him now let us see the difference between the critical build and the normal attack damage build. First we have the critical build which, uh, which on 3 hits takes half of the HP of the enemy with uh, 660 passive magic damage. Now let us change the equipments to normal attack damage build uh, like uh, Fafni's Talon, uh, Tank Breaker, Fenrir's Tooth and uh, the downing star is very good for marksman now so we can use it too now the damage is a bit high compared to the critical build 65 percentage of the hp is gone with uh, more than 800 passive magic damage friends i am not 100 percent sure that this build is better than this so for elandor you can use many builds uh, possible so you can try out new builds and uh, there are uh, many new things you can try with Elondor because he's a marksman with uh, pretty good mechanisms. So you can just uh, use his abilities to dodge your enemy's attacks and uh, you can deal a lot of damage. Now let us see about the Arcana. So uh, this Arcana is the attack speed Arcana. This can be used when you uh, use him uh, in the jungle with Soul Reaver. So if you don't buy the Scorching Wind, you can go for uh, attack speed instead of the, any other Arcanas. So it will be useful for you. And the next Arcana will be the Critical Chance Arcana with uh, the Savage 10 and Assassin and Raccoon. Some players likes to use the Critical Chance Arcana so it will be use for, uh, useful for them. And the next one is the Critical Damage Arcana which gives you like 36% uh, additional critical damage. So in the it will be most useful in the late games. Now let us see some tips and tricks on how to play Elendor uh, in a very good manner. The first thing you need to know while playing Elendor is knowing his abilities very well. If you don't know then you can't even able to survive for a second in a team fight. Use his abilities effectively in such a way that you should deal a da lot of damage and also you must evade the enemy's attacks and abilities. You can use your abilities 1 and 2 to dodge the enemies. Also you can use your uh, S2 to deal a lot of damage. And use your ultimate when it is extremely necessary in the team fights. When the enemies jump on you stuff like that. So you can use his ultimate to chase the enemies and you can escape from them. Uh, reminder for you guys you can tap the S1 and S2 but uh, don't do it with his ultimate try to target and use his ultimate but only when the enemy is so close you can tap your ultimate because your ultimate uh, will target the closest enemy to the Elandor so Elandor can be countered by Valheim, Vira, Alistair and Arum. so Elandor can counter most of the low mobility warriors, assassins, marksmen and tanks. The thing is the more you play with him the more you will come to know about him and will play him very good. So the basic is dodge the enemies uh, and deal a lot of damage. But don't tap the abilities twice, uh, you should use your abilities uh, then use your normal attacks which will uh, deal additional damage. So one ability, uh, one auto attack like that. So it will maximize your damage output a lot. Oh friends, that's all for today's video. Hope you all find it helpful. So many of you have asking me this video for so long time and uh, sorry for keeping you waiting. So I was uh, just little busy. So I managed to do it however. So uh, if you find this video helpful, uh, kindly smash the like button and also share it with your friends also don't forget to subscribe the channel then see you all in the next video until then bye bye and have a great day friends